Jay here. Today's beer review will be on uh, Tonight's beer review is going to be on a Lake Erie Monster which is brewed by Great Lakes Brewing Company um, in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, it is a double or imperial IPA um, and an IPA is a style of beer um, originally made in Britain to make the long voyage to India during the spice trading years uh, when things were still shipping by boats that were wind powered. Um, what an IPA is, is is a stronger beer, um, stronger than what they were brewing in Britain at the time with a lot more hops in it um, in order to stop the beer from spoiling on its way to India in the warm holds of the ship. Um, now this is an imperial or a double IPA where they really boost the, the grain bill and, and of course the hop bill to keep a similar flavor. This one's clocking in at right around 9.1 ABV and 80 IBU. So it, it's bitter and it's got a lot of alcohol in it for a beer. So that being said, let's pour it in a glass and see if it's any good. Tried sloshing it in there at the end to develop some of the head. Um, it's got nice tight bubbles. It's fairly normally carbonated. Um, nice, nice copper, light copper to dark golden color. Um, it, it really looks wonderful in the glass. Um, I'm not going to find a nicer looking beer, that's for sure. There's a lot of hops in this beer. You can smell it. It, it smells really well. As a matter of fact, it's about all you smell. Maybe a hint of the alcohol too, but really the hops is the overpowering scent um, to this beer. It, it smells quite nice. It's got a um, a earthy um, kind of hop note to it. Uh, not a real floral or citrusy variety of hops in here. Their website claims they use uh, Simcoe and Fuggles. Um, of course, as always, over here be the uh, and in the description below will be the clone recipe for Lake Erie Monster. It is bitter and then it finishes with the alcohol kind of um, almost numbing on the back of the tongue and, and the bitterness leaves your mouth very dry um, but the beer does have a little bit of sweetness to it. It's actually quite balanced, but it's leaning more towards bitter, um, which would I, I would say would be absolutely perfect for the style of beer that it, that it is. A, uh, it fits the style very well. Um, I would say it's a, it's a very good example of a uh, India Pale Ale, Imperial India, India Pale Ale, excuse me. It's got a lot of complex flavors but they're, most of them are overpowered by, by the bittering um, that's been done to this beer. Really good beer, um, nice and strong, good for a uh, day that you just want to kick back and relax um, after a hard day's work or something. Just enjoy one of these and, and call it a night. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Call it a night. Cheers. <laughs>